Hi, knitting friends. Shayna Billow here. I knit this really cozy, cheery holiday scarf. It's a free pattern that I have. And for the scarf, I used four strands of fingering weight held together for the body. And for the fringe, I used a mini skein of yarn. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I cut this quickly and did the fringing. So come along. The supplies I have here are my finishing yarn, a crochet hook that's a smaller size than whatever I used to knit the scarf, a pair of good scissors, and a comb. I also have my steamer nearby on standby. Let's get started. The method I'm about to show you does use an entire mini skein of yarn. If you're worried about using all that yarn or wasting some of it on fringe, you can make your fringe the traditional way by wrapping wound yarn around a book or a DVD case or some straight object that you have that is the length that you want, and then trimming it like this to create pieces of fringe. What I'm about to show you is a shortcut. Here's the skein of yarn. I'm going to open it up so that it's a big loop like this and I want my pieces of fringe to be about 12 inches long. So I know this is going to be wild. I'm going to cut the fringe, cut the yarn, the big skein right there. Then I'm going to fold this into thirds like so. You could also fold it into quarters, but I want my fringe to be about this long when I put it on. It'll end up, my fringe will end up being this long when it's folded over. So you have to cut your fringe double the length that you want it to hang off of the scarf or blanket, okay? And if you're fringing a blanket, you can certainly use a much larger skein, a full skein of yarn. You just have to be comfortable with the fact that some of this may not get used in the fringe. I'm okay with that because it saves me quite a bit of time from winding the yarn and then cutting it into fringe pieces. All right, so I have my skein set up in thirds. I'm now going to take my scissor and cut at those folds of the thirds. And again, depending on the length that you want your fringe, maybe you're cutting at the quarter point or a fifth, or depending on how long your skein is, maybe. Maybe you're cutting at the halfway point. I'm going to remove these little ties that were holding the fringe to uh, the skein of yarn together, and then I can start fringing my scarf. With this scarf, in the instructions, I recommended six pieces of fringe. There we go. I've got six right here, coming from the wrong side of the scarf, so the back of the scarf towards the front. I put my hook up the corner of the scarf and then I grab the center point of my fringe onto the hook and pull that through to the right side. My next step is to drape that yarn, the fringe tail, over the hook and then jump the loop over that, kind of like a bind off. All right, so I have one piece of fringe done. Then I'm going to take another six pieces. That was five. Here we go. Let's grab six. And I'm going to go into the other corner. Again, from the wrong side towards the right side. Grab your fringe pieces at the halfway point. Pull through to the wrong side. And then you can either, if you're more comfortable, you can put your fingers through the loop and grab the tails, pull them through. Or you can use your crochet hook to do that. So we have options here. You can either put a fringe in each one of these little knit stitches that I see, or if you've got a project where you don't have this clearly defined stitch, you can then put one piece of fringe right here in the center, another in the center of those, and then yet another piece in between all of those, or until you have enough. But I like to, generally when I'm fringing, I like to... Um, have my fringe centered on the piece. So in this case actually centering would be on this pearl ridge here. 
opening fringe here and through. I would then put another piece of fringe in between these two, one here, one here. And then after I had that one there, I'd put another two. So visually, I'm creating halves and spaces, and I'm dividing the scarf up and putting the fringe in evenly. The reason we come from the wrong side to the right side with the hook, so I'm coming from the back of the piece to the front, is so that you get that nice little wrap showing on the right side, on the front of the scarf. Turn on your steamer and lay your scarf out. We're going to delicately steam the fringe to make sure that none of it is crinkled up. And as we do that, as we steam, we're going to carefully comb it as well. So as you can see, we're straightening out the fringe so that it's as kink free as possible before we do the trimming of it. When you're satisfied with the straightening of the fringe, you can then arrange the two pieces of the scarf, the two sides of the scarf together like so and give one more decent comb before taking out your good scissors and trimming the ends even. Another way to do this is to hang it over the edge of a table and with it hanging do the steaming, the combing, and the trimming. Happy knitting!